Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And we talked about, of course, this week, ARM processors, HP, and uh, we also have, uh, not HP, sorry, um, AMD and NVIDIA are in the race for a um, ARM processor for Windows. We've been, you know, talking about ARM PCs for Windows for a while. They exist. They're not really popular. They're not very fast. But things are about to change, possibly. Um, Qualcomm has announced that a new Snapdragon X Elite is released or going to be released. And according to some of the speculations and some of the tests, it can beat Apple's M2 Max chip, a Intel i9 also. And this is the new ARM chip, powerful and amazing for Windows 11. And also, there aren't, they aren't mentioning Windows 12, but a lot of the talk was about this is going to be great for the next version of Windows. Once again, hinting at a Windows 12 and all of that. So uh, it's a Qualcomm CPU that is supposed to be really amazing, has onboard graphics that is top class graphics. It has an NPU, a neural processing unit. That is something interesting also. It means that everything AI will be possible on this chip. And it can deliver amazing performance, apparently. It is uh, pretty good with every type of feature, uh, video encoding, decoding, and so on, 4K, HDR, and all of it. It's apparently something that would be uh, really a, a game changer for ARM in Windows. Because for the first time, we might have Windows laptops with ARM processors that deliver amazing performance. And two things, hopefully. One is battery life, once again. We hope that battery life will be maintained because one of the biggest problems with um, having more power is, of course, the battery life that goes with it. ARM has been known for good battery life, but the problem with that is um, it, it just doesn't deliver. This is different, and this could really be in a uh, race against AMD and Intel here. Maybe we'll be having our first real powerful ARM PCs in the near future. And uh, that should be due mid-2024. And uh, this is definitely going to be something to check out. Um, it says that with the NPU and all of that, the new Orion CPU, that powers the chip and packs 4.5 times faster AI processing than competitors. So that tells you that this is going to be some really, really interesting uh, thing. There should be, apparently, some laptops powered by this Snapdragon Elite X and the Orion CPU in mid-2024 from different um, equipment manufacturers. Once again... Um, ARM has been a tough one for Windows for a long time, but maybe this is changing next year. And think about NVIDIA and AMD jumping in, um, especially NVIDIA. And AMD, you never know. Um, I'm curious to see. Maybe now we're talking about an ARM future. And the good thing about it is uh, it will be compatible. So x86, x64 will be compatible. You'll be able to use the software that you like on these machines, even if the architecture of the processor is different. And lots of talk about this is going to be great for the next version of Windows. Could Windows 12 be the first one to be um, powered by ARM processors a lot more than Intel and AMD? That'll be something interesting to see, but with an onboard NPU also, that means that neural processing unit would be great for AI. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.